Right now, we want to talk about the rerouting of orange parades. Now, Jerry Adams, we want to move on here and talk about these orange parades, especially from the Lower Armour Road. The residents are going absolutely spare about them. So what is your views on this? Well, we, I and Sinn Féin, want all marches to be banned, um, no matter who it's for or what it's for. Um, whether it's for the black, the blue or the green, at least we want them all rerouted and we want it done as soon as possible. Right, well, Ian Paisley, what is your view on this rerouting? Let me say this here. I have to laugh at Jerry Adams. He says ban all marches, no matter what it's for. But let me tell Mr Adams, he's the first fucker out with his bin lid when it comes to the anniversaries of interment and any Sinn Féin protest marches that happens to take place. And let me say this here. He says that all Orangemen should be rerouted, but I think it's the residents of the Armour Road that should be rerouted down to Dublin where they belong as far as I'm concerned. Oh, right, well, that's a bit strong, Sir Patrick Mayhew. What's your view on this? Well, uh, on the rerouting of uh, Catholics down to the south of Ireland, well, I don't think that would be uh, possible. The Housing Executive uh, don't do transfers as far apart as that. But let me say, uh, if there can be a compromise made, uh, that would be great. After all, what we do want is a safer route. Why should we break with tradition? Surely the residents of the Armour Road could go to Port Royce for the fucking day, for God's sake. Jerry Fitt, what do you say about that suggestion? Well, uh, the last time I went to Port Royce on the 12th, I got my bollocks knocked in. Um, I just uh, think the people of the Lower Armour Road will have to stand their ground. I wouldn't be rid of my house for any fucker, I'll tell you that now. Well, let me tell you this here, Jerry. You weren't long moving when your house on the Antrim Road was being torched by your own lot. Isn't that right? Ah, but hold on, that's different. That was a that was a case of mistaken identity. They thought I was Seamus Mullen. Fuck's sake, no, no. That, uh, that's a different kettle of fish altogether. Now, we've also had a couple of uh, special guests here tonight. One of them is Chris Eubank. Uh, now, Chris Eubank, you wouldn't be here only for the ceasefires. Now... You give up boxing and you didn't give it up uh, so long ago and uh, you're thinking of coming to Northern Ireland to live because the ceasefire is here and it's readily available for everyone to come and live here. Isn't that right? Yes, that is right. It is certainly a great country. Uh, now that we have the cessation of violence, I, I, think, it's, uh, doing, uh, uh, I think it's doing everyone very good. And uh, yes, I have been doing a bit of house hunting lately. Doing a bit of house hunting? Let me tell you this here. I want to know where you're planning to live because, let me tell you this here, there's no way you're coming to live anywhere near Cypress Avenue, my lad. Well, let me say, let me say this, Mr Paisley. I'm thinking of living at Malone Park. They're, they're very nice houses. You'd be better off living up the Falls Road. They don't like niggers at Malone Park. Excuse me, I'm not a nigger. I'm a Negro. Like when I say you're a nigger, you're a... Right now, Dr Pizzi, that is no way to talk to Chris Eubank. He's our guest tonight. Um, Jerry Adams, could you suggest somewhere safe for Chris Eubank to live? Yes, I can indeed. Um, if Chris wants to come, he can come up and live in the Andy Town Road. And uh, uh, we'll, we'll all look after him. No, thanks. Uh, I don't want to go up because I want to hold on to my wallet. You don't need to be so fucking cheeky, you thankless black bastard. I was only offering you accommodation and a safe house. Mr Adams, you've had more houses than the fucking Cincinnati kid, for God's sake. What house is it you're talking about? Right now, Dr Fizzy, never mind, because that's a, a, a security giveaway. You're not hardly tell you that. Well, Chris, I'm sure you'll get sorted out with something. Uh, could you give me your views on this subject of rerouting marchers? I know you're not uh, very familiar with the politics in Northern Ireland, but just give me your own opinion. Well, I really don't know what to say because um, uh, I don't want to end up getting my bollocks knocked in. Uh, I don't know what to say. I don't know whose side to take. Well, I thought uh, Steve Collins already did that. Mind you, I wasn't too happy that a left footer knocked her bollocks in. But that's besides the point. Jerry Adams, I, I want to speak to you here. Uh, what have you got to say about that fight between Steve Collins and Chris Eubank? Well, us Catholics can show you prods how to fight and win. I uh, like you did in 1690, Mr Adams. John Hume... Is there any chance of both sections of these communities sorting out their differences over these orange marches? Well, I think it's time, and it's up to Ian Paisley, to go and talk to his community and try and get them to reason. And that's the same for Mr Adams. Uh, but quite frankly, 
I never won the Nobel Peace Prize, so as far as I'm concerned, you're going to all go and fuck the whole lot of you. <laughs> well, I don't think that's very nice. Jerry Fit, could you find a solution to this? I couldn't find my fucking glasses in the morning, never meant a solution. Well, why don't the orange men and the lower Orma Road residents toss a coin to see if the orange men march or not? Let me tell you this here, Mr. Fit. We are talking about a tradition that goes back hundreds of years. We're not talking about tossing a coin to see who kicks off in a fucking football match, you goatee.